All right, here's what I'm wearing. This is my uh, my winter getup. Man, that guy's fence is all messed up. Bike blogger here, bike blogger here. On my way to work today. It's a beautiful day, just very cold. How far is your bike commute? Top of the day, top of the day, topic of the day. Woo, winter time. How far, how long, how hard? Is your bike commute the bicycle portion of your commute if you're multi-modal multi-modal you use public transportation or you have your own personal uh vehicle or automobile that you use to uh get you part way and then you ride your bike the rest of the way let me know in the comments section below oh yeah in the previous video i wasn't able to do that bicycle pull thing I wasn't sure if YouTube brought it back or not. You used to be able to do a, a poll so people could vote on things via one of their tags uh, in their videos, or not tag, a card in their uh, video, in, in your video. So, and I thought maybe you could do a community poll. Well, let's go straight. But no, you can't do that either. So, huh. oh well. Oh, they're building something over there. Let's stop a second here. I think they're putting in some houses over there. I don't know if in my previous videos if you could see what they were working on over there or if you could see what was over there actually. It was a it was a church. It's gone now. I think they're gonna fit four houses, maybe. They could probably fit four houses in that spot. Each house sold for um probably I don't know, at least half a million. And uh the property was sold for I think three hundred thousand. So that's a pretty good penny to make off of that, minus labor and materials. Yeah, they're gonna be making probably at least close to a million dollars off of that property, I would guess, uh, builder. Uh, I don't know if that'd be pure profit, but they'd definitely make several hundred thousand dollars off of that. Lucky them. Yeah. There's a pickup truck there in front of me and he's, uh, doesn't seem to have all this stuff strapped down in the back because he's missing the back door on that pickup truck. Or is the door on there? I couldn't even tell. Couldn't even tell. You know what? Actually, I think I'm gonna make a right here when it's safe to do so. It's opened up. Uh, one and two and go off we go and so what you do there is when it's really busy you can uh, get into the middle lane here and then make a left which is what I'm doing now slowly wow this is the smoothest parking lot I've ever been in before but yeah how long how far how hard is your bicycle commute I got a little extra time here, so I'm taking more time. Generally speaking, my bicycle part of my commute, that is, this is one way, okay. Uh, if I were to do a straight shot from where I live to where I work, just on the bike, not counting the time it takes to walk from wherever I park to, to my office, it's, uh, 10 15 minutes it's not very long at all i'm quite fortunate to uh be really close to my where i work um so uh, you know partially from partially partially <laughs> personally uh it's uh, kind of a personal choice thing i mean i could work further away um i've thought about that before like changing uh jobs and you know extending my commute or whatever but you know you I could just extend my commute anyway you know if, if it's a nice day outside I would uh, extend it anyway but uh yeah anyway Whew. so distance wise I I don't know I'm trying to trying to think about it here <laughs> my former commute 
to work was about four miles or I think it equates to about 6.5 kilometers. But uh, my, uh, this intersection always confuses me. Let's go this way. It's kind of a weird intersection. There's a lot of different directions going there. My current commute though to work is even shorter. It is uh, maybe two and a half miles, which is what? I don't know, I'm trying to think. Three, is that three kilometers? Four kilometers? I don't know. I'm not good at my metric system because we don't really tend to use that in the United States. Woo. Oh yeah, I'm using my newer bicycle. It's a, it's a used bike frame, but uh, I put some new components on it. Actually, I got some, it's actually not all new components. <laughs> the wheels on this bike are the wheels in my, on my old bicycle, which I still have, kind of. It's a long story. My, uh, my old bicycle, <sighs> well, it got hit by a car with me on it and uh, the frame is totaled, but I still have like the original uh, components that were on it. And I still do have that bike. I still actually have the damaged frame too. Got smashed like an accordion. <laughs> Whew. Uh, but uh, the wheels that were on that bike originally when I bought it, the factory wheels are actually what's on this bike <laughs> so these wheels are pretty old they're um i guess like i said you know since the beginning of this channel so i don't know seven eight nine year old wheels fitting for the bike because the frame is from 2009 so and that means the bicycle frame is uh it's 2020 now, or 2022, 2022, I gotta remember that. New year, I always, get, I always get a little confused about New Year's until it's about February, but, so that, that'd be uh, 13 years old, I guess. So, runs like a new bike though. I certainly fiddled around with it for quite some time. Okay, down the hill. Woo. We're in Maplewood, Missouri right now. I'm gonna make a left here. I'm uh, extending my bicycle commute. I wonder if they ever repaved this road. It actually does look repaved. This road was really bumpy. Like the whole time I was taking this bicycle commute to work at my old job, this road was very, very bumpy. And now it's all super smooth and I don't go this way anymore. Oh well, sometimes it works out like that. Whew. So how hard is my bicycle commute? By hard, I basically mean, you know, it's a lot of busy traffic -y areas. Uh, there are a lot of steep hills. There are a lot of blind turns or curves in the road. Do you encounter any of that? I don't really encounter any of that. There are hills, but I don't live in the mountains. And I don't live like, you know, in San Francisco in that neighborhood that has the crazy big hills. I don't even know why that is. I guess I don't know enough about the geography of a uh, Northern California, especially the coastal areas, but I don't know why is that in, in San Francisco? Why are those hills so steep around that one neighborhood? That doesn't really seem, maybe it is normal. Maybe it was actually naturally that way before they developed it, but it just seems kind of strange. That's what it makes me think of when I'm thinking of climbing a steep hill, especially in a city. Because many cities are very flat. They're meant, they're, they're developed to be flat. Uh, urban, urban areas. 
Okay, well, this has been fun. Let's go to the left. So now I'm kind of heading left lane closed. What? You can't make a circle here. Let's go to the right. I'm actually kind of curious. I don't think I can. I was going to say, I'm going to go. Whoa, bump. Man, that's kind of weird that the road is. Uh, got those really big cracks in them. They're almost like, uh, what you would call it, a. Uh, almost like, let's go take a look at that again. Look at this huge crack in the road. It's almost like a uh, pothole. All right, well, anyway. So, let's go this way. This is one of the directions I went to my old workplace every day, and uh, I very rarely I'd ever made a left up here. Let's see where that takes us. Let's see where that takes us. It's not like it's super cold right now. Everything looks kind of quiet, doesn't it, right now? It's, everything's all just kind of frozen in place in winter time. And there aren't that many people around right now. Whew. Yeah, if you hear any crinkling, that's just my my garbage pants. I call them my garbage pants. So like made out of garbage bags, basically. Plastic pants. Keep you really warm in the winter time. They keep all the wind out. Woo. Uh, da, 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 da. It's a stop sign here. It's a goofy little stop sign. It's like a, it's like stop, but more of a suggestion. <laughs> it's not a uh, a standard stop sign. I don't know if I don't know if that actually holds any. Uh, quote unquote legal power like if you have to really stop there or not it's not a standard stop sign just like that other oh, I just passed that sign that said 25 miles per hour but it wasn't a regular mile per hour sign it looked like looked like a okay see I can't go right here because they tore up this road uh, this road is kind of messed up Actually, I could cut through there. Let's go ahead and do it. Why not? Anybody have, nobody behind me. Let's spin around. Spin around. So, I'm on a bicycle so I can cut through this way. Because I can fit through here. Only concern would be if I was going to get any, like, uh, any, uh, uh, concrete or something all over my bike. Looks like I can cut through here. Just watching out for cars, because shouldn't really be going through there. Just getting a little, uh, <laughs> getting a little uh, bit in trouble there. Woo! So, yeah, my bike commute isn't that hard, it isn't that far, and it isn't even that long if I don't want to make it that long. Uh, so I'm quite fortunate. A lot of people seem to have taken up uh, cycling, which is awesome. Uh, these were generally people that were already uh, not driving cars, though. We got to get more people riding bikes instead of driving cars. Uh, I'm gonna go left here. Head down to the uh, the park. We'll cut through the park over into an, the next city over. This is so whack. Wait a minute. Hey, cool. I got a green light. I didn't know if it was going to change for me or not. But what I was going to say is, uh, what I was going to mention is that the wire strip in the ground back there for that intersection, it was all the way out, almost in the intersection, like they expected people to not stop until they're practically in the intersection when usually you're supposed to stop backward a, a bit of a ways like uh, behind the uh, crosswalk let's make it right here it's back in here nice and easy big trucks uh, 
Wow, they're doing work here too. I guess winter time's the time to do a lot of work when people aren't. Man, can I get through here? Doesn't really want me to, does it? Now I'm gonna get my bike all muddy, my new bike. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm following a, a track. Like another bicyclist went this way. Or maybe it's just my imagination. Ugh, sand. I don't like sand. It's hard to stay on my bike. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see there's a bicycle track and that's sand. And then they went this way, I guess. Oh man, this, this is a mistake. I don't want to pop tire. Please don't pop my tire. Oh, I'm gonna run into the fence anyway. Oh. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's go around this way, I guess. Oh. I might be able to get to that bridge over there. Let's see. Uh, this is definitely a detour. Oh my gosh, that looks very muddy there. Ugh. Fortunately, it's frozen. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, slow it down, bike vlogger. We're okay. <laughs> oh, I had the back wheel pop up. I was uh, popping a wheelie the backwards way. Popping a wheelie the backwards way. With the back wheel popping up. Okay, I think I can get through over here. Ah, it's a little bit of excitement for today. A little bit enough excitement. Okay. Woo! All right. So it is possible to get through there. Now my tire's all muddy. Uh, you just gotta ride on the grass a bit. So this is a creek. I think this is called Deer Creek. Uh, Looks frozen. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of cold. You can see you can see water coming out of that pipe over that big pipe, kind of near the uh, bridge. Whew. Water's flowing though. It's uh, there's my bike, the Langster 2009 Specialized Langster. Woo. Oh my. Okay, now where do we go? Now what should we do? Let's cut over here. Let's cut over to the next street over this way. Now it is cold and batteries do not last very long in the cold. So just a heads up, I hope the, the camera doesn't quit on me because I don't have, unfortunately I don't have a spare camera or spare battery. I do have a spare camera, I didn't bring it with me. I don't have a spare battery for this camera though right now so. Whew. It's a little bit of a hill right here. Climb the hill. So we're, we are in Webster Groves, Missouri. They got some hills around here. Particularly uh, near the uh, railroad tracks. Let's keep going straight. I don't see a train. The train would be to the right, one block to the right from here. There isn't a train right now though. If, there, if I do see one, I'll certainly jog over there to show you. I'm trying to figure out, is that a road? No, that's just, a, that's to the right, that was someone's driveway. Whew. This road feels like it's one way, but there are signs on the right side pointing toward me, suggesting it is not just a narrow road. Whew. Okay. Yeah, because there's cars up ahead. If they come down this road, like this guy up here, should be fine. I'm on a bike, I can fit through. Whew. But if you had two cars coming head on, uh, they might be able to squeeze past each other, but it would be tight. It would be tight. Whew. Okay. 
Now there is a trail here. I think I can go. I think I can go this way. So where I'm trying to get to is Brentwood, Missouri. So I'm in Webster Groves, Missouri, trying to get to Brentwood, Missouri. And then I'll shoop, go up to Clayton, Missouri. So that's the, uh, that's the goal anyway. Whew. Yeah, I'm not sure what that bridge back there was made out of. I don't know if that was some composite or if that was a wooden bridge. I don't think it was wood. Yeah, now, now I feel like I'm on the sidewalk. Got all these sidewalk panels. Watch the sign. Huh. I don't know what the deal is. Oh boy. I was gonna say, I don't know what the deal is there. Like there's like a, a truck block in the road over there. And then down there it says steel play ahead. And it looks like the road is blocked down here. Let's take a look. Yeah, it says detour. But I'm actually on the bike trail, so and the bike trail isn't closed off. You know, I actually have kind of wondered what's up in here. Let's go take a look. I think it's a, a private business. There's another one of those weird signs. Yeah, it says private property. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's back in there. They got a security uh, gate. Gate check or whatever. Okay, let's... It says no right turn, but again... Nothing blocking this. So let's see if we can go down here on the bike. Because I don't think they're doing any work on the... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, they're not doing any work on the... Um... There's, another, there's another park over there. I never even noticed that. <laughs> yeah, so this, this is all closed off just for the cars on the road to the left. Uh, but the bicycle trail here is perfectly open, so there's no reason I couldn't go this way. Pretty cool. That's kind of one of those things when you're... Why is that sedan just blocking the, in the entrance there to the road? It must be a car for one of the workers or something. I don't know. It's kind of strange. Can't tell if there's anybody in there. They got blacked out windows, tinted windows. Okay, so... Blah. Now what I want to do is I want to jump onto this road make a right onto this road and uh, actually I probably could just take the uh, the sidewalk here to the right but I think I'm gonna get on the actual road and get a well actually now that I think about it it's probably a lot of potholes on this road because I don't know what's going on it looks like they got more signs up actually it looks fine so let me uh well there's the, the stop again here I'm just stopping a whole lot. There's that creek again. Deer Creek. They got a, a lot of gravel in there. It's kind of low. It's like a little island in the middle of the creek. Kind of weird. Yeah, the water level is really low right now. Okay. Yeah, I got mud on my rims, so they're a little slower to stop right now. I just giving you a tour of the area. This thing to the right is the a metro bus uh, service center or something. I think where they work on the where they work on the buses, uh, the public transportation buses. I think they got a service garage in back, and this is I think just a uh, I don't know actually. I don't know what this building's for. It's just an administrative building. So I don't think passengers are loaded and unloaded there. Okay, okay. I mean, the gate is open. I could ride my bike back there, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, I'm being extra, extra nice today. Usually I'm always cutting through different properties. Cause hey, it's one of the benefits of being a cyclist. You can uh, get around places where you can't get through as easily on a on a car watch out for the train tracks never want to cross train tracks uh parallel to the trail or the rail 
rail trail. Because <laughs> uh, you get your, your tire stuck. I'm not sure what the size is on the tire that would prevent that from happening. You probably need a very fat tire, like a big mountain biking tire or something to not have to worry about that. I don't think even a hybrid bike with a a 35 millimeter wide tire, like a little over an inch wide would be enough. You need something like over two inches wide probably. Don't usually go this way. To the right is a train track, but I think it dead ends up here. I guess we can go take a look at that. Or I think the, the, tra the train track line here ends at one of the businesses up over there in those warehouses. I don't know, I don't... Again, this is kind of an area I haven't really taken you to on my previous videos. Ah, dang, it's been, it's been years, but I think I have actually come back here in one video a long time ago, crossed over to the left where the uh, ball fields are, just to see if there's a way to get across the creek over there to the left, and I couldn't find a, a way across. I mean, unless someone purposely built a bridge, there wouldn't be a way. So yeah, let's take a look at these train tracks here real quick. No way behind me. Let's see here. Ah, slow it down. It's a little hard to tell, but it looks like the train tracks curve and go left there. And I would imagine they stop back around where those warehouses are, but I'm not sure. I think we can get a little closer. Yeah, like here's some rails. Like, here you go. See, my wheel is completely stuck in there and you need a very wide wheel to prevent that from happening. Yeah, it looks like the train tracks actually kind of combine there or they split off. Kind of strange, so there's only one uh, rail line that goes that way which would suggest i guess this is the end of the line Let's see if we can get a little closer <laughs> i need to get to work here but i want to check this out that's why i leave a little early uh, that's nah, it's too hard it's, it's hard to tell i can't really see from here can for that's probably just the name of the shipping company i'm not sure what they store back in these warehouses here they're almost not even they're not even really warehouses they're just like little tiny canopies or little canopies covering up the materials whatever they are but i guess they come in on freight or on uh freight trains oh all right so yeah anyway we're in brentwood missouri heading north it's pretty much a straight shot north to my workplace so we just got to get there we're um probably three or four miles out but we're gonna get there we'll get there eventually Whew. not sure the name of the street i'm on right now actually i can cut around this way i've done this before I can go back behind these businesses Whew. Yeah, I don't know if I could get to that business to the left back there where the train tracks are from here, but I see more of those shipping container things, those things with the labels on them. So this business must be the same business that has uh, boxes of that stuff back there too. It is at Buffalo. I might have shown you it before. Manchester Buffalo or Manchester Road right now. I can actually cut around that that house there straight across from me. There's a lot of traffic right now though. I just have to wait. So there's cars coming that way. And now this car is beginning to come from that one. So we just have to wait a second. See so yeah, what else is there to say? So yeah, I guess one of my questions to you guys was, uh, 
Do you ride your bike all the way to work or do you drive part way or do you take a light rail train part way? Is the bicycle just a part of your commute? Is it the last mile of your commute? Is it the major portion of your bicycle commute? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'd be curious to know. Let's take a look at this buffalo. There's a buffalo. <laughs> it's got glowing eyes. Kind of creepy. Actually, I don't know if they're, those are actually uh, lit, those, those eyes. Uh, I actually want to go this way. No, no I don't. I'm going to go this way. So I know I can cut through back here, but it's this away actually. Uh, it might have just been reflectors that they had for the eyes of that buffalo. I don't know. Okay, this way. I always get that confused. Are buffalo and bison the same thing? Or is a buffalo a type of bison? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> Things you wonder about and then you forget to look up later. You guys can help me out. Whew. Give a gold medal to whoever can uh, figure that out for me. Okay, so let's make a left here down Rockford Avenue. Because I'm looking that way, back that way, and it looked like the road was going to end, but I don't know. Whew. So, believe it or not, we're just about to link up with my old bicycle commute from the beginning of my YouTube channel. Whew. It is, uh, it's chilly. They're doing some work on that house there to the right. Right here. Not sure what they're doing. They always got a, I've always noticed they had a lot of different trees and stuff in front of that corner lot. They're all kind of dormant right now, but oh this is a nice smooth road. Actually I take it back. We're not in Brentwood. We're in uh Rock Hill, Missouri right now. But we're going back into Brentwood. Woo. And then we're gonna go north here. Okay. Let's go this way. Woo. Now this road has uh, concrete laid down. Kind of, kind of strange. All the other roads have asphalt. Whew. Chilly, chilly, chilly. So there will be one steep hill I'm gonna have to, uh, I gotta fix my mirror. One steep hill I have to climb on my way to work, but it's not for like about another mile or so now. Let's we'll see in a little bit. Okie dokie then. Oh, jeez. Surprisingly, my extremities, my hands and toes and fingers, they're doing pretty good right now. Uh, oh, wow, they're building something there. So this is my old bicycle commute. It's kind of hard to see. They're adding another couple buildings to the left there. That was not like that a year or so ago. That's uh, that's interesting. I'm gonna make a left here. Uh, that's a shame, because yeah, that's a school to the left and uh, it looks like they're building it all up and uh, they got almost no no playground or uh, or a little soccer field or anything and that's depressing kids but everybody adults included everybody needs to get out and uh, exercise and get some fresh air and uh, you know stay physically fit and mentally fit 
because uh, this whole trend of uh, everybody glued to a device, be it a smartphone or whatever, and uh, I'm not trying to go on a rant here, but it's just <laughs> it's just the way society's going. It's like everybody's staying home. You know, there's a good reason for that for now, but you know, everyone just kind of in their own silos. Everyone just kind of in their own bubbles and not out there. Man, that's not the right way to go. Not long term. So hopefully things turn around, but that's that's depressing back there. If I was uh, if I had a stake in that, you know, I would have uh, been against it. No, you're not tearing down a, you're not ripping out a perfectly good, uh, you know, soccer field or uh, whew, let's make a left here or a playground so you can install more buildings. It's like, <laughs> no thanks, I'm not. Not throwing my tax money at that. Oh, no, I am ranting. No, I am ranting. All right, I think I left here. Woo. Oh, dang, look at all that. All that nasty salt. So, yeah, part of the reason I have this bike is because it's kind of my nice bike, but still a bike I'm willing to mess up a bit. Uh, it is a uh, aluminum frame aluminum corrodes but it doesn't rust like uh, steel so it can last longer theoretically than a steel bike but uh my my thought was to use this bike in the winter when the roads are just covered in salt and then bring back out my uh steel bicycle uh the rest of the year we'll see how that works out for me <laughs> How's that working out for you? All right, let's go straight here. Actually, I can go this way. I used to go this way. It's another one of these ways I used to go on my way to work. This isn't, this isn't that school we just passed, but it's a little uh, public playground. We haven't ripped this out yet. Whew. To be fair, everybody is inside because it's so freaking cold out here. And, uh, People don't like being out in the cold. Usually this time of year when it's January, February, uh, and it's very cold. Often I don't see many people outside unless they have to be. And by that I mean they're walking a dog. <laughs> I see more dog walkers than like anybody else out here uh, this time of year. Uh, let's get over to the left. Like look at these dog walkers. <laughs> Yeah, it's not just that, uh, it's not just that, you know, there's a couple walking a dog. It's like each person, <laughs> those two people back there, each person had a dog they were walking. I bet you, <laughs> I bet you, if they only had one dog, there'd only be one of them out here walking it. The other person would be like, nope, not going out there. It's too cold. Not, not to keep you company or anything. I'm just not going out in the cold. Ah. <laughs> uh, See, I'm, I feel like I'm dressed really well today because I'm feeling good. I'm not feeling cold right now. Right now, at least for now. The right, I have the right number of layers, I think. That's very rare that uh, I hadn't picked the exact right number of layers that I don't need to either throw something more on or take something off because I start getting hot. I think it's a combination of the temperature, my lucky choice, and... Uh, the pace at which I am riding my bike. If I was working harder or less hard, I'd be getting colder or uh, warmer. But I think I'm going just at the right pace here, which is pretty cool. So uh, anyway, oh, uh, actually I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I said I was gonna go north, but actually the direction in which I'm heading is actually heading me back uh, south. So what I need to do is I need to turn around. Uh, I think, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I am going. Oh yeah, I crossed the road. I shouldn't have crossed the road back there. <laughs> oh wow, I'm going completely in the wrong direction. So now I'm going the right direction. 
just had to turn around here. Uh, so when I was ranting on about taxes or whatever, I was, uh, whew, I wasn't paying a, I wasn't really thinking about where I was going. Just kind of heading by default to my old workplace. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay, well. Yeah, I've been at this new job for uh, half a year now. I don't know. Several months now. And uh, yeah, I sometimes forget. I Man, that, that's, just, that's just normal. Uh, that's just normal. Uh, it's never actually happened to me before where I get all the way to my work and I'm like, wait a minute, I don't work here anymore. <laughs> it's just because I'm coming from this direction. It's like I'm just, I just got it in my mind to take my old bike commute to my old place of business. Let's see here. All right, let's go left. Woo. So what I actually need to do is I need to go all the way back this way, cross the road, and keep going this way, and then up some hills. And then I'm gonna get to those hills I was talking about. Because I gotta go over a freeway. And you gotta go up and over that on a bridge. So that's my uh, one bit of hills here coming up. It's kind of funny, I was out riding the other day. It was very cold like today. I think it might have been colder. And I just had, when I got, when I got to my destination, <laughs> I just had like a frozen smile on my face. Or not really even a smile, just kind of a grin. Like, ugh, smile. Oh, my face is frozen. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those days. One of those days. Whoa, went right between those bolts there. <laughs> so actually, let's, let's make it right. I don't want to wait for the light. I can make a left up over here. Do I have to wait for my turn? Okay. So we're gonna make a left into that uh, parking lot to the left. I should be signaling about now to let them know I'm coming over. Now this SUV is waiting, so he turned the light for me, which is great. Actually, there's two SUVs. Now what I want to do is make a left here, because I want to get back. Actually, I guess I could go right. Let's go right. Let's go through the, through the parking lot here. Too much traffic over there by all the crosswalks. Just gotta be careful when you go down a uh, parking lot. So you see that big building in the distance? I'm going past that. <laughs> I hope my uh, camera doesn't die. I gotta remember to bring a spare cam uh, camera battery with me in the winter time. All right, let's go up this way. All right, let's cut over. There's a car coming. Looking in all directions for traffic, even behind me. All right, real slow. See, there's a car. All right, because actually, I kind of was wondering about that. I can't cut out here. I had to go through the other aisle to get out of this parking lot. So let's go back over here. Watch out for the SUV. All right. I'm going to make a right here. Okay. Now, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a left here. It's kind of weird because it doesn't seem to suggest you can make a left there. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm doing everything all legal legal let's go this way all right so now this is where the hill begins i'm gonna climb the hill Whew. up the hill up the stinking hill i do like hills but Whew. 
on my way to work, I know I'm gonna get sweaty if I go up the hill, even in the cold. Whew. So the fun thing is, once I reach the top of this hill, I uh, get to go down a hill. <laughs> and then I gotta go back up the hill. So that's okay. It's all good. What's this guy up to? Oh, he's going in there. Huh. Another pickup truck with the back door down on the truck bed. Whew. I've never owned a pickup truck before. I don't know if those things just tend to fall down, if they're more aerodynamic, if they're down, or if people just forget to put them back up. See, that guy, he's got his uh, truck bed back door up. Wow. <laughs> A lot of nothing there to the right. You can see it. Whew. All right. Yeah, they're gonna be building more of these monstrosities there. I think to the right. Cause yeah, there's just a construction zone over there right now. Oh my nose. All right, this is easy. <laughs> I'm going down a slight incline right now. All right, make a right here. Okay, so I take it back. Actually, we're in Richmond Heights, Missouri, city of, and uh, we're almost in Clayton, Missouri. Gotta cut to this little section of town before we get there. All right, people, I think they were unloading stuff, I don't know. People moving in. Woo wee! All right, there's that freeway I was talking about. I don't know if you can really see it. There's no place for me to stop here. So yeah, we get to go down this hill and then go right back up it. Oh, the news, my news. Since I'm riding a single speed bike, I can only go so fast. That's why we're just kind of coasting now. I could try to keep up with the, with the bike and spinning the wheels here with the, the pedals. Just gotta spin pretty fast. Whew. Back up the hill. Oh, my nose. All right. Woo -wee. We made it. Made it up the hill. Woo. Mostly. <laughs> A little more. Oh yeah, I'm sweating now. <laughs> and my face is freezing up. Whew. Whew so I'm riding kind of to the right, but there's uh, no cars behind me. All right. Okay. Whew. All right, let's do it as good as I. <laughs> I think the sign back that said no turn on red. Well, I didn't really turn onto the road. I turned onto the sidewalk. <laughs> All right. Now we can turn right onto the road. Oh, that was. Okay. 
Because, I mean, there's nobody coming. Let's see. Uh, can I go left here? I think I can go left through here and cut over to the other side. Uh, actually, I take that back. I think I can cut over into another street over. But then that's going to take me north of actually my workplace. Which is fine. I'll just have to go back down south. But this is going to take me on a little detour going through here. I feel like they recently repaved this. But then I'm seeing like all these, uh, all these marks in the road where they... Apparently it looks like they uh, fixed it up a little or something. Actually, I'm a little confused. Can I just keep going straight here? Might be able to. I don't know. Let's keep going straight, see where it takes us. Because I was actually going to go right back there across the Black Creek, I think is what it's called. Because we're kind of in a flood plain right now, near the creek to the right. Oh. Oh, wait a minute, this might be a dead end. I wasn't paying attention to the signs. That looks like this is a dead end. That's okay. We can spin it back around. I don't think there's any way to cut through these residences. <sighs> not that I'm saying not that I would suggest doing that. I got a double standard. Frown upon cutting through residential properties, commercial properties, eh. <laughs> Alright, so make a left up here. Oh, oh my nose. Whew. Nice and easy. I believe I can cut through here. Because I know you can on a, on foot. Now here we go. Let's go over to the left. Easy. Kind of narrow, but I got through. Now I know it's dead end to the right. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Is it a dead end? I think it is. Let's actually check it out just in case. Of course, if I had my phone on me or GPS or something on the stem of my bike, I could actually look at it right now, live. I'd be able to figure that out real quickly. I kind of feel like it, this street curves and then stops because I feel like I've been down here once before. Yeah, looks like it dead ends right here. And there's another, there's that creek. Is that a creek? No, we just crossed a creek. All right, let me spin around. Uh, it doesn't look like I can actually cut through that away. Because what I want to get to, or what I prefer to get to, is there is a uh, a street on the right side of these house on the back side of these houses, and that's the street I want to get to. I don't know. Should I have stopped back there? <laughs> there's like these crosswalks that say stop, but there's no people in the crosswalks. So, a little confused on that. Ah. Oh. oh, look at that. That's weird. It's like a goose. So if I keep going straight here, I'm going to reach Ledoux Road. Because I might actually be in Ledoux, Missouri. I wanted to get to uh, Clayton, but I'm not there yet. I'm kind of on the border of Ledoux and Clayton right now. 
Nice and quiet, yeah. Ain't many people around. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of tell this is a floodplain because the, uh, let's go to the right, because the, you're near a creek and if you just kind of, I don't know if Gro GoPro can show it really, but the terrain, like they even have like a, uh, what do you call that, a culvert or whatever, in front of that house there to the right, I just passed. The terrain of all these yards is very flat. It's extremely flat. There's like no hills at all. Oh. Suggesting we're kind of at the bottom of a valley. Whew. All right, I can hear the freeway now. We're getting near it. We're gonna have to cross underneath the freeway to get to work here. We just crossed over a freeway, but this is actually a different freeway. I get to cross under. So yay. Whew. So I thought about clocking this. Maybe I'll try to retrace my video. How far have I actually ridden my bike today in this video? This is definitely what I'd call an extended bicycle commute because I don't have to go this far out of my way. Whew. All right, I think we're just about done with the houses here. Because right behind all that brush is the uh, freeway. I can actually see some cars speeding on it. But we are relatively flat where I'm riding my bike right now. The freeway is kind of elevated. Uh, up the grade. There's like a steep hill to my right behind all the trees and brush. So we're going to stay low and go under the highway here. And now like there's no more houses so I don't know what the deal is here. If they're, if we were like in a subdivision now we're outside the subdivision so it's up to the city to maintain these roads or whatever. The, the road is much more bumpy now. It is not nice and smooth anymore. Oh, okay. We made it. We made it almost to work here. Oh, my nose. On the other side of this, uh, high on the highway is Clayton. So, almost there. Ah. Oh. I would like to blow my nose, but, uh, I think we're just gonna go here. <clears throat> Alright, heading under the freeway now. This is I-170. It only it's very I don't know if it's the shortest interstate freeway, but it only goes for like 20 miles. It's kind of weird. Because there's a lot of local pushback and they never extended it. <laughs> kind of funny, kind of weird. So the battery died, but I got a new battery. See you next time.